Regarded as the father of American animation, it's quite humorous that James Stewart Blackton was actually born outside of the States in England. It was only after moving to the States that Blackton was exposed to animation. Blackton was a career journalist and cartoon artist, which put him in the path of Thomas Edison. Edison had just held a public demonstration of his new invention, the Vitascope, one of the first film projectors. Blackton was assigned by the Evening World, the New York paper which employed him to cover the story on Edison. Setting off a light bulb for Blackton, he purchased a kinetoscope and shortly thereafter teamed up with Albert E. Smith and later William T. Rock to create the American Vitagraph Company. While his first film, The Burglar on the Roof, made Blackton a millionaire in 1897, it wasn't until the Enchanted Drawing in 1900 that the public demand for his films began to grow. The Enchanted Drawing gave viewers their first taste of stop motion animation. Although the ability to shoot one frame at a time had been around since about 1898, all you needed was a skilled operator and constant exposure to give the film as little flicker as possible. In 1906, Blackton got the idea to not only animate frames, but drawings as well. And so, Humorous Faces of Funny Faces was born. Another one of Blackton's familiar styles was that of the animated chalk talk. A chalk talk was a popular form of entertainment at the time. Used by vaudeville stage performers, the artist would draw dynamically changing scenes or characters and narrate the happenings of the drawing for an audience. Using other popular theater techniques of the time, such as double exposure or miniatures, Blackton successfully created trick films. Blackton is also responsible for creating perhaps the most famous and widely imitated trick film, The Haunted Hotel, in 1907. What captivated viewers was the ghostly way knives and utensils and cups seemed to move across the screen. The magic was not just in the film itself, but in Vitagraph's very successful advertising of the film. The industry decided to hoard the key to the mystery of how the film was made to themselves. That is, until Emile Cole comes along. Only one step was left after Blackton to create an animated film in the full sense of the word. Tragically, he died by being hit by a bus in Hollywood in 1941.